Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice macro or any macro on the Razer Naga. Um, first you're going to need the driver. You can download that at the Razer website. <coughs> the link will be in the description box. You're, if you have a Mac you're going to want this first one right here. If you have a Windows, get the second one. Either way, moving on. You download it and if you're on a Mac it's going to be in your system preferences. Razer Naga. Now I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna make this button four first. Then okay. Macros. Delete this macro. Heroic leap. This is a macro I'm basically going to describe for you. So I'm gonna remake the macro so you can all see it nice and well. So there. You have no macros currently. Click the plus sign. Create a macro. Heroic leap. Okay. So click it. And then now you gotta click record. So now you click the buttons which you need. And for heroic leap, it's what I like to call a two button macro. You have to click the button to actually activate it and then the button to where you want it. So this is my activate button and this is where I want it to be. And so that's only how I, so that makes it only that I have to uh, click it once and then it just brings me there. And I click stop. And now I'm going to put no delay between events. None. So now you're going to bind that to a button. <clears throat> you can bind it to any of your single keys just by going single key macro hero leap. But I don't want to bind it to my single key. I want to bind it to button number four right there. So I'm going to go to number four, click here, go down to macro and hero leap. And it's bound. And now we are going to go in game and I'm going to give you a little tour there on how to bind it actually in game. Um, so now that we're in game, I'm going to show you how to bind it to the specific key that you want it to be at. And so first you have to go to your spell book and find the spell that you wish to be bound, which should be all your spells, just saying, because if you're a clicker then you're not a good player. Um, so first I'm going to bind heroic leap. So I'll drag that to where I want it to be, which is right there. X that out. Now I'm going to go to interface. And then I'm going to go to key bindings. I'm going to scroll down until I find bottom, bottom left action bar. And there we go. We have it there. Now you can see that you can bind all your types of actions here. Like bar one would be bar, obviously for charge, and so on. <clears throat> but in this case, I'm doing bottom action left bar, or actually bottom left action bar, eleven. And we're going to pretend that is not bound right now. So first, you have to click it. So you obviously click it. And then you look for the key that you want it to be bound, and you click that key, and you're all done. Now this helps you, especially for a two-set spell, that instead of actually clicking the spell and then moving it out to where you want to be, which is kind of slow and bad, you can just click once. So I move my mouse to where I want to go and I click once. And look at that instant jump. It's beautiful, right? Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe.